In this tutorial, you will learn how to upgrade your custom development repo to work with the latest version of BuddyBoss app. This tutorial is specifically for developers who are writing custom code for BuddyBoss app and who have already connected a custom development Git repo to their app. If you have not yet set up a Git repo for custom development, then you can skip this video. Newly configured repos will already be compatible. So for existing developers, you might be wondering why is it that you have to update your custom development repo? The reason is because the latest version of BuddyBoss app has a really cool new feature for developers. From today, you can now include native libraries in your custom code. And we have another video showing you how to do that. But in order to make this possible, we will have to add some new files and folders into your Git repo, and so an update to your custom development repo is required. If you do not update your Git repo, then you will start to get failed builds in your build screen until you fix this issue. Fixing this issue is very simple as you're about to see. It should only take a minute or two to resolve it. With that, let's get started. If you're on a Mac, open Terminal, or if you're on Windows, open the command prompt. And over here, I have my terminal window open. And over here, I have my Git client, where I can commit new code into my custom development Git repo. The code that's currently in this repo was originally copied from the custom development template that we recommend using when creating your Git repo for the first time. To upgrade this repo, we're going to use the BuddyBoss bundler to automatically copy the new required files and folders into the repo. If you run the BuddyBoss bundler command, you will get a prompt asking you to upgrade it to the latest version. Alternatively, you can reinstall BuddyBoss Bundler from scratch, which will also provide the latest version. I'll go ahead and install it fresh as a global dependency. To do that, I will type npm install g BuddyBoss Bundler, and then I'll hit enter. And now I will CD into the directory in my computer that contains the repo. And then I'll type buddyboss bundler upgrade. And you can see it says your project needs to be upgraded to work with the latest BuddyBoss app. Any required folders that are missing will be imported into the project directory and configuration files will be updated. Do you want to proceed with the upgrade? So I'll type yes and then enter. And now you can see that a bunch of files and folders have been copied into my repo. And I get this message saying your project has been upgraded. So that's it. The upgrade is done. But the changes still need to be committed to my Git repo. So if I go back into my Git client, we can see what's been added. We have this new pod library file. And then we also have a new folder for Android and a new folder for iOS. These two folders allow you to include native libraries in your app builds and to write custom code that interacts with those native libraries. So now we'll go ahead and commit this code. And then we'll go ahead and push the code to our repo. And then after doing that, you'll need to go into your WordPress admin to generate a new app build for both iOS and Android. And the new app build should generate properly now since we fixed the repo. And additionally, you should now be able to install and use native libraries in your custom project. If you're interested in doing that, make sure to watch our other tutorial, which shows you how to use native libraries in your code. 